Hi, this is Pete from FMI Enterprises. I'm an auto dealer here in Southern California, and today I have for you a 1999 Porsche 911 Carrera C2 Cabriolet with automatic transmission, Tiptronic shifting. It's got 123,000 original miles. As you can see, it's a uh, it's a car that needs some work. I don't know if you could tell by the photos, but um, you know it's got some got some issues. It's a project, definitely call it that. It's one that you can um, drive around in, I guess, um, if you wanted to, if you really wanted to. Um, I mean, the engine runs pretty good. Transmission does shift. Um, I'll point out all the details later in the video, but um, you know it's just far from perfect. We'll call it that. It, um, it's got a, uh, let's see, 123,000 miles. The paint is not perfect. It's got a fair amount of chips in the front end. It's raining right now. That's why you see the little dots everywhere. But um, you can see some paint chips, paint chips, clear coat, fading, peeling. That is a spot right there. Um, actually looks good from 10 feet, I guess, 15 feet, maybe 20. But, um, you know, it's just not perfect. So it's got a hood, hood clear coat. You've got dings in the hood. Small ones there in the front, medium ones in the front. Got a little couple of Audi dings right there. Um, I mean, it's got it's got a share of wear and tear on the, on the hood. The front bumper as well, as I should point it out. It's got the paint chips in various spots around the front bumper. Um, you know, little stress crack right there, pretty common, uh, but it's got its fair share. You can see underneath, you can see it, looks like all the plastic is still there. Um, the headlights are in decent shape on the bright side. There's no cracks in the headlight, looks good. Continuing on with the paint body, left front fender, got a little, little scratch right there. Uh, it's getting very late, so it's going to start to rain here, I think. Harder and the clouds are coming in. So um, the driver's side door looks pretty straight. Um, again, there's little chips on the edge of the door, stuff like that. A little scratch, tiny little scratch on the back of the door. Um, the left rear quarter looks okay. The... Uh, clamshell here you can see the clear coats pretty much given up uh, most likely it was repainted and that's why the clear coat is fading like that maybe it's original but I don't know um, however you've got clear coat fading there rear bumper cover you've got clear coming off there in the back of the bumper tail light looks good no cracks in the tail light career and emblem looks good third brake light looks good Wings in decent shape. The right rear uh, fender. It's pretty straight. Um, tiny little, little, little ding right there. I guess you can kind of see it. Uh, rear bumper, like I said, clear coat there clear coat there in the rear bumper so you know rear bumper is not perfect the bumper guards look okay underneath the engine I can't see it very good but um, I know when I drive it smells a bit of oil burning so maybe it's got some valve cover gaskets I don't know leaking a little bit of oil onto the exhaust um, the passenger side door little door ding in the door right here and uh, not horribly bad but a uh, little door ding there the right front fender you got a pretty good scratch right there um, side marker looks okay you got a scratch right there like a really small hairline scratch right there and that's pretty much the body in the paint. So call it a six, maybe six or seven. I mean, the hood, the bumpers, the clamshell, 
you know, this fender's got a little bit of a couple tiny scratches. But hey, if you can live with it and drive it, you could do that. It doesn't look, it's not like it's an eyesore. This is probably the worst part that bugs me in the in the hood and the front bumper and the rear bumper. But no, no I mean, you know, it it's a project. So consider it that. Wheels, the factory wheels there look pretty decent. Uh, you've got a set of... Uh, Nexen tires here up front. Tread. Tread's pretty decent, I'd say. Uh, can't really see how deep the tread is. It's really losing light here, but Nexen up front here as well. And the tread looks pretty good on these tires. These almost look like near new tires. Rears definitely have less tread. Uh, this, this is a, a Lionheart tire, and the tread, treads, treads about, I'd say about 50%, something like that, pretty decent tread, I guess, I mean, I thought it was worse than that, but now, looking at it closely, uh, Lionheart, I guess, uh, I think these are Falcon tires. Falcon and the model is Lionheart. And the tread back here about the same, about 50, 60 percent, something like that. Um, yeah, losing light here pretty quick. Um, convertible top, it's actually in okay shape. It's got this little, it's coming up there on this edge, which is pretty common. Um, there's a strap that is supposed to hold it into place, which is, it's an elastic band. It's come loose. Um, the, the rear window is kind of fogged up pretty good there. Not There's no holes in it or anything, but it's fogged up pretty good. So that's the exterior of the car. I don't think I missed anything. Um, the door handle on the passenger side is jammed. You can see the regulator works when you pull the handle. That's good. Um, it's not letting me open it from the outside, on the passenger side. Seats look good. There's no rips or tears in the seats. In fact, they look brand new. Rear seats look okay. There's a dry spot right here on the back seat. Carpeting looks okay in the back. Carpeting up front looks pretty good. Aside from the um, heel pad here, which has um, a hole in the, the vinyl heel pad, unfortunately. Uh, the door panel looks okay. It's got a little bit of wear and tear there. Uh, the handle looks like somebody repainted it there. Paint's coming off a little bit. The door jam looks okay. The latches here work good. The uh, turn on the reading lights here work. Uh, the carpeting over here is in decent shape. I'll take this out. Um, you can see 123,000 miles. It's got the uh, CR220 with the tape deck. Uh, the dash looks good. Steering wheel looks pretty decent. It's got a little a little split right there in the in the seam, but other than that it looks okay. Horn button looks good. Shifter, the um, leather here is peeling off there. And as well as the e-brake right here. You can buy the shifter on eBay for you know 60 bucks. And they're easy to install. You just they pull straight up. The shifter, you can buy these. They're not very expensive, or you can just peel the remaining leather off and use it as is. It works fine. Uh, let's see. So the um, car starts up and actually runs pretty decent. You can hear um, you can hear a little bit of um, metal vibrating back there. That happens right when you start it up and it goes away. I believe it's um, like a shielding on the catalytic converter or something like that. 
vibrating on the exhaust or the exhaust vibrating one of the two um, so again this is a project and this is something that you know I'm not I don't know every problem with the car so you're gonna have to um, be the one to kind of take it into your hands and figure it out good thing is there's not a, a milkshake in the um, in the coolant there's no like oil mixed into the coolant or anything like that and the oil here seems relatively clean um, I mean there's no like you know coolant in the in the case or anything like that and that's a big deal in these cars um, but the engine runs good I drove it on the freeway about 25 miles I drove it around town a few times moving it around getting it detailed and whatnot and it drove okay uh, and I'll drive it in a minute here and I'll point out the details there but you know the the engine seems to run good it doesn't make any noise um, you know like I said it must be dripping some oil from the uh, valve cover gaskets or the separator one of the two I don't know I haven't had it really looked at closely by a mechanic I'm just kind of giving you my feedback from what I see here uh, headlights they work and the tail lights work signals see the front ones blinking the rear ones blinking over here and the front ones blinking on the right and this one's blinking over here I'm sure the brake lights work too it's gonna be kind of hard to see yep there's the brake lights working so all the lights work um, power seat works forward and back the backrest for some reason the switch got jammed it goes back um, the power works but it doesn't the switch seems to be jammed on going forward so I'm gonna leave it where it is and the same thing for the passenger side so I think it's the something with the micro switch the housing on the micro switch blocking the switch from moving okay so we've got an airbag light here on which most likely is a uh, one of these receptors here the seatbelt receptors seem to uh, go bad regularly on these I think there's a recall you can buy these on eBay for 50 bucks 60 bucks and plug it in and it should take care of that airbag light um, you see the climate control works well um, the AC I'm gonna turn that on right now double check that to make sure it's working in the meantime it's got the CR220 it needs the code which reminds me open the trunk or the hood or the bonnet or whatever you want to call it now the rain's starting to come down um, I've got the uh, owner's manual right here and it might even have the code for the radio but you can get the code for the radio at the dealer for free we'll give it to you um, but I got the owner's manual right here, so that comes with it, of course. Got the front plate right there. I've got a cover right here that I'm not sure what it's for, but I've got a photo of it. I, I believe it goes over the, the car when the top is down. It's right here, and it's pretty big. Um, here's the radio manual. comes with it. And I've got this little tray that goes underneath the... Uh, the dash that's supposed to hold the owner's manual. Uh, the spare tire has the jack and the tire iron behind it. I took that out and took a photo of it. The, the, the donut, this tire on this on this rim is bad. Gonna need a new uh, donut tire. And uh, so that's the uh, trunk area. And it's funny though, you don't hear that rattling after it runs for a little while. Um, and it's definitely metal rattling. Okay. So, I've got the AC on right now, and it is blowing cold. The AC works good. But it works fine. Very cold. Uh, convertible top. When you hit the button on the convert convertible top, it, it seems like it needs fluid at least. Um, hit the button. It goes down. Windows go down, all four windows go down, all four windows work, the clamshell opened, and I hear nothing happening. So, all that is happening, but I believe it probably needs fluid, so you've probably got a case where the rams are leaking, 
I'm gonna close it up here. And uh, so it's not seating inside the, the latch up front. You put the windows up manually. And uh, all, the, all the windows work. Um, the rear ones, because this is not seating in here properly, the rear windows, oh, they are working. Okay, there's one window up right there. And I'm pushing the button while I'm holding the phone. And the other window is up in the back. So convertible top. It seems like it wants to work, but it seems like it's out of fluid. So I'm going to call that inoperable. Um, so let's take a ride in it, and I'll show you how it drives. So I put my seatbelt on. Clutch feels okay. It's not like... Um, super stiff or any signs that the um, pressure plate is blown out or anything um, now second gear it goes in the second but it wants to go in with a grind so you heard that kind of like make a little click um, in the second but once you're in it it seems to work fine it doesn't pop out of gear or anything but just on the way in it's it's grinding um, especially if you're going slower and the rpms are lower uh, so that's what I notice about it. All the other gears goes in fine. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth. So I'm going uh, in fifth gear. Um, looks like I'm going about 50, 50 or 60 miles an hour. You can see the steering looks okay. It's not shaking or anything. Got my high beams on. And downshifting into third. Let's see what happens shifting into second. So it goes right into second on the downshift. I want to show you what I'm talking about when I say a grinds going into second. So I would imagine the uh, synchro probably starting to go, but into first, going into second. So you heard that when I let the clutch out. Um, something's not happy in there, but it goes into second. Um, it makes more of a grinding noise when you're going at low RPM. So take that and um, you know that's the condition there um, and I'm just trying to put it all out there I'm gonna put the Carfax up on uh, up in the photo area you can check that out I, I don't have it with me right now and I'm not sure what it says so I can't tell you what it says but um, the car is a project like I said it's gonna need work Obviously, it runs and drives. I'm driving it right now. And, um, I mean, it's not that bad. If, if it didn't smell like oil, I think I could, you know, kind of live with the second gear thing. Put it in the second again. Get the RPMs up. Goes right in. Didn't even make a, make a little grind or anything. So, I mean, you could always go from first gear to third gear if you wanted and kind of get used to that if you just I mean it, it's gonna be a very very uh, affordable car Porsche that you can run and dr ride and drive in and uh, you know that's that's what this car is gonna be it's a project a running and driving project and so that's about it um, hope that light wasn't too annoying but uh, give me a call if you have any questions and um, that's about all I can think of right now. I think I said about everything. See, I just put it in there at a very low RPM, and it didn't even it, it didn't even go in. It didn't even go in gear. Like just coasting along here, and I put it in second. It doesn't want to go in. You got to be moving to get it into second like this, and it goes right in. So that's the problem. Uh, talk to your mechanic maybe you are a mechanic 
you know already what the problem is. Um, this is how the car is coming. This is how it's being sold. And um, you know, I don't have any check engine lights popping up, but I, I mean, I haven't. I guess you know, it's I've put some miles on it. it nothing's popped up yet. Um, not to say it's not going to have something pop up, but just consider it a project. And that's all. Thank you very much.